Hey guys, this is Ed, Paul, and Anna of Current Brand Media, and we are here to tell you a little bit more about our sponsor. Sportsball is a great subscription service geared towards minor league baseball fans. Each box features a different minor league team. You get a box every three months with minor league baseball gear, including different styles of hats like Ed's favorite, the dad hat. The cost is less than $12 a month. Proceeds from each box goes to More Than Baseball, the only nonprofit dedicated to the well-being of minor league baseball players. We all know that Parents' Days are coming up this summer, so if you've got a mom or a dad or a grandma or a grandpa who are particularly difficult to buy for, but you know they're baseball fans, this is the answer, guys. Meet your new favorite team at sportsballbox.com. Is there anybody there? Oh, you All right, and welcome everybody to, let's just say this is going to be a little bit of a, uh, a little trial, you know, little, we're going to see how this works. Uh, my name is Ed Rivera, also known as the Dad Head, and with me I have my uh, my wonderful good friend, co-host, uh, Mr. Mike Sellers, some, some people call him Chili Man or Jedediah, you know, he, he goes by many, many, many names, it all depends on the time of the year. During winter, he is definitely Jedediah. Anyways, uh, welcome to the DHC Sports Podcast. Uh, what is going on, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Doing good, Ed. Thanks for having me. I had a little dilemma on what to enter my name as today, because like you said, we almost did Jedediah, but I go, oh, I trimmed up the beard. Then I was like, I could do the chili man, but I'm kind of protesting Skyline and Gold Star right now from that you stupid really move are. they You really did. are. Yeah. So, <laughs> so why are you, uh, you know, why are you, you know, doing protesting this right now, this protest? Because, so they both had Pepsi products for the longest uh, time. And I always thought it was weird that they both had that. So I assumed it was just a matter of time before one of them made the dumb mistake of going to Coke. Yep. And about a month or two ago, Skyline announced they were going to be making that move. And I was like, all right, 100%. I'm all in on Gold Star now. It did not even last a full day before Gold Star made the same <laughs> announcement. And I have not been gross. there since they switched to Coke yet. <laughs> so gross, dude. So Terrible. gross. Terrible. First of all, I, I'm going to tell you, like, I mean, this is you and me right here. This is just us testing this whole, you know, like, uh, trial of, like, you know, how this is going to go. And guess what mm -hmm. happens? We already disagree on one thing, <laughs> and it's it is Skyland Chili. I think Skyland Chili is absolutely gross. <laughs> it's just gross stuff. But we at least did agree on, do agree about Pepsi being better. We agree 100%. It. Pepsi yeah. is a much better product than Coke will ever be. It yeah. is by far like a much better product. Like, yeah. which is funny, dude, because my family, right? And my immediate family, my parents, my sisters, they're all Coke product. They are all about <laughs> the Coke. I'm <laughs> the only one that does not like Coke. I cannot stand it, dude. What you're saying is you're the smartest one in your family. Oh, 100 percent Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm the smartest one here. So all right. So so here's what we're gonna do. All right. So um so I I, I threw this question at you, but and I even just so you know, I also threw it at my wife as well. Okay. All right. All right. What do you have? Are the cops coming to get you, dude? <laughs> we get a lot of action in the neighborhood here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? All right, who got sh who shot who? All right, I can literally see the flashing lights through my window right now. Shut so. up, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're going on away. eight mile. I live on eight mile. <laughs> even though you live in in Ohio, <laughs> so right. little old, little old town. Like yeah, in the middle of nowhere, right? Pretty much. <laughs> all right, so I threw this question at you, and I said, "It's like all right." So here's what I want to do. I want to try this episode out here. I want to try this one out. And now what I want to do is I want to know uh, what would happen if you the teams that you've been following since childhood, like they don't exist, right? If they don't mm -hmm. exist, who would you be following? Right? Knowing what you know now, like, you know, the winning percentages or the color schemes are like, you know, logos, everything. I mean, I'm talking everything, right? Okay. That was going to be uh, one of my questions was, do I know everything I know now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, no, you know everything. So I don't want to okay. make it too hard. I mean, eventually we'll make it difficult later on as, yeah. this, <laughs> as this podcast goes on, right? But like, mm -hmm. I want to know what teams would, would, you, would you choose? And we're talking about NCAA. Uh, we're talking about MLB, NHL, NBA, NFL, the whole nine yard, right? Like, I mean, they don't exist. The, the, the players don't exist either, okay? Like, so you can't just be like, oh, MVP, my MVP, Trevor Lawrence is going to, I'm going to bring him with me to this Pittsburgh Steelers. No, that's not how that goes, okay? 
you got to stick with with what we ha what they have okay but you got to pick the team okay are we, are we like for example me being a, a jaguar fan are we just okay. saying the jaguars like like right now, like the Jags did exist and they just folded operations or like the Jaguars have never existed? Never existed. Okay. Because if they folded, right, that was like, all right, so I need a period of like, you know, mourning and then I'm not going right. to wait for anybody or anything right. like that. No, that's just easy. That's too easy, yeah. dude. I, I just, because that, that, that could have changed the answers pending on. Pending that's what I'm saying. No, well, they but, never okay. existed, right? There was all never right. an expansion in 95 when the Jaguars came <laughs> in with the Panthers. None of that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Or right. the Cleveland Browns never came back in 99. They just moved to Baltimore and never... They just moved to and Baltimore the and then story. in Baltimore it is, right? Yeah. Cleveland Cleveland Guardians slash Indians never existed. None of that shit. Okay. All right. Okay. I like it. All right. So I'm going to start with one of the leagues. Like, I mean, and this is... I, I want to start easy, all right? Yeah. Let's start with the NHL. Okay. Okay. The NHL, I think... For the most part, you and me have been pretty new to uh, the sport. We follow it, but it's not like like baseball, right? Like you know, right? Like I I liked hockey a lot when I was a kid, but I'm talking mm -hmm. like up till ten or fifteen, and then I kind of got out of it for like I, I keep track of it a little bit, but then kind of until like you said recently got back into it. And... Same with me. Same with me, dude. Like it's just the last couple of years. That's when I like you know when I was young when I started here when I lived in Ohio. It's like I started getting following it. And then just like drop off. And it just recently last few years, that's when I really got back into it, you know? So, mm -hmm. all right. So let's start with the NHL. What's your, what is your current NHL team that you follow? Current NHL team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, you and my wife are the, like the same team. <laughs> See though, even though it wasn't because they were the local team, when I became a fan of them, it was before Columbus existed. Mm -hmm. So they pretty much, you know, they were four hours away. They, them and Detroit oh, yeah. were like yeah, yeah, the closest right team still. But that isn't why I became a fan. I just like to say that because it sounds better. <laughs> it just sounds like, oh, I go, they're, they're, uh, Columbus wasn't here. Yeah, know? exactly. Yep. So, okay. So, all right. So that you you chose this, the Pittsburgh Penguins as your team that you were following. Now, did you follow them as a kid or did you follow them recently? I followed them as a kid. Uh, so you got back into it again with them. Exactly. And that was like, even the span when I was out of the sport, that was like the one I wasn't watching the games. But I would mm -hmm. check the standings like to see where the Penguins were at. And especially when they got Sidney Crosby, you know, because it was cool to have such a big star and they were good. So it was easier. Yeah, right, to, exactly. Yeah. And then once they get to the Stanley Cups, they did that four, three, four times. Uh, yeah, it's then kind I of nauseating, to be honest games, with but, you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So the Pittsburgh Penguins, they don't exist. Mm -hmm. Who are you going with? Okay. So I joke with friends of mine now about having four quote-unquote hometown hockey teams yeah one of them being nashville one of them in nashville and that's North carolina the hurricanes are another one because i go there so much st louis is another one because gross i went there there was a period of time when i would travel to st louis a bunch as well okay and gross. then <laughs> then there's columbus who is literally the the hometown team for me yeah but so it kind of came down to me being like, what would be one of those teams then? And okay. this is one you said you guys start out easy. And this was probably the easiest one of all the sports for me to choose. It would be the Predators. I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Nashville. Okay. Right. I mean, I like the brand anyway. They're fairly local compared to the other teams anyway. Yeah. And nice. Yeah. I like it all. So that was pretty easy for me to choose that the Predators would be my team. <laughs> right. Exactly. I was like, okay, here, I'm gonna, I'll give you a toss. I'm going to toss you a softball here. So mm -hmm. I knew that was going to be the choice. I knew it. <laughs> I didn't think I, that was going to be a, a big surprise. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, all right. So for me, like when it comes to the NHL, I kind of, I never really was like, I know this is going to suck. I was like, you know, we know living in Cleveland, I was like, but I would never really was a, a Columbus Blue Jackets fan, right? Like, I mean, I rooted for them. I was happy for them, but it was nothing like I was ever going to be like, oh yeah, like I'm super happy for them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Because one thing just being one thing being a literal hometown team is another thing just being the closest team to you. Right. Exactly. Because that was literally the closest NHL yeah. team. Right. You know. Um. So 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 it's not right. So but I've been so moved. You know, left the hockey for a while, came back. You know, to it, and then I root for two teams. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say this because I root for literally root for two teams. I root for the Carolina Hurricanes because they they literally are now the local team for me. <laughs> yeah, now. you know what I'm saying? They are the local team. But I also root for the Minnesota Wild. Okay, right. I like that. I, I like the Wild. When I was into it younger and stuff, there was a whole bunch of teams that I casually liked, and the Wild were one of them. I do like their logo a lot. Exactly. So, like, you know, that was one of that's one of them when Seattle started coming back, dude, with the Kraken, dude. You can't nice hate on go. the Kraken, right? Yeah. But the team that I followed as a kid, mm-hmm. the Anaheim Ducks, the Mighty Ducks. Oh, really? Oh, okay. God, yeah. Because the movie and all that? Oh, 100%. It was because of the movie. Okay. You know what I mean? Emilio Estevez and, you know, mm-hmm. like the Flying V and all that, right? So, yeah. like, oh, dude, I even watched a cartoon show. Did you? <laughs> Did you know that we had a minor league team, the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks here, with like basically the same logo and all that? No shit. Mm-hmm. I never went to any of their games because they folded when I was still fairly young and stuff, and I didn't go to a bunch of games as a kid, but so oh, I never I actually went there. But yeah, I'd look into that. Damn, that's nice. So that's when I that's that was a team, right? Mm-hmm. So I really, I really gave this one some thought. Like, I mean, I I do this one was a tough one, kind of tough one, but not really. Mm-hmm. Tough one. So if I was to choose a team now to really follow, right? And just see like this is my team. I'm gonna follow that. It would be Seattle. The okay. Kraken. Because that of would... the whole logo and brand. Yeah, and the logo stuff. is amazing. Uh Polish they made the playoffs, you know, like it they, I mean it's just the whole thing. It's just it it's just it's cool. I even yeah. have I think I have somewhere around here like their hockey helmet, the little minifigure hockey uh, helmet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm uh, I'm wearing this Sabres hat now, but I I got the Sabres and the Seattle hat at the same time just because I happened to see them both for like 10 bucks or something each or something. And Boom. Like both color logos and stuff. So, dude, I, I went to, I went to, there. where the hell was I? I was like, I was at Ross and I found that I saw a, a seven and a quarter fitted Seattle Seahawks hat. Oh, really? Did I was like, the hell yeah, I got it. <laughs> I you know what I mean? Big Seahawks fan, so he would, he would appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. I like the Seahawks. So they're, I've always liked, I, especially when you know who you know who was there. Uh, uh, the, Russell Wilson. Um, anyways, I was to think, uh, who do I know? Yeah. Right. So that was you know. Anyways, all right. So we we got NHL out of the way. All right. So we we NHL. We know that we would follow these other teams, right? Yeah. Uh, thankfully, you know, we live in this is a the, the this conversation that we're having is a fantasy world conversation because right. yeah. obviously they're around. But exactly. I I, I kind of knew that you were going to go with the Predators, though, because like you're a Nashville guy, so it's just yeah, it's just how it goes, right? Right, right. All right, so we're going to leave baseball to the end, right? And we're going to leave minor league baseball and major league baseball to the end. We're not going to touch that one right now. Okay. Okay. Let's mm-hmm. go for another easy one. Okay. NBA. NBA. See that one? I it is it's lower on my chart. But I don't know if it was necessarily easy. So I'm a Timberwolves mm. fan in the NBA. That's it's shut my, up. Yeah, but I also the NBA is far and away my least favorite sport. Yeah, of the, same here, dude. So they're like, even though they're my favorite team, I I don't have like their gear and their hats and stuff like that, just because I don't follow the NBA close enough to really care enough. Like I root for them, like they're playing the playoffs right now, the best season they've had in forever. Oh, and, they're about to get eliminated too. Right, <laughs> but just getting to this point is they right. usually don't even make the playoffs. So true, um, like you know, they've been perennials like bad team for a long time. Yeah. So uh, this one, it was easy in terms of like you said, there's like it just didn't really, it wouldn't really matter to me as much. But in the same token, it was a little more difficult than because I don't I don't follow it as closely to have the these additional ties and stuff. Right. <laughs> so. Right, right, right. Uh, the, the three teams that kind of came to me as the top couple, the, the two that I don't think I'm going to choose, but were the next options, uh-huh. was the Pacers, because, you know, they're they're, they're not Again, close here, but they're the most local they're team. They're close so, enough. Right. Um, and then there's also the Nuggets, because I did like the Nuggets a lot when I was younger, because I liked Carmelo Anthony. And also, okay. as as we basically discussed in the hockey one, if I'm starting over with liking teams, I kind of going to tend to root for if, if a brand or something doesn't stand out to me, I'm going to kind of tend to root for cities that I enjoy. Yeah. And I enjoy, I just went to Denver recently and really loved it out Denver's there. Cool. Ain't it? Yeah. So those are the couple of my, my silver and bronze options, but 
uh, I think the team I would go with is the Hornets because similarly, I also liked the Bobcats when they were back there. Uh, You're and... going to fucking laugh. You're going to fucking laugh. <laughs> um, but I, I like their logos and colors and stuff too. And also kind of like the Hurricanes we talked about. I do go to North Carolina a lot, so I tend to like the Hornets. And I know this kind of was not supposed to matter to you because you said not about players, but they do tend to draft a lot of UConn basketball players as well. So I've also kind of... Bro, you cannot say that because they, UConn doesn't exist. I know, I know. But that's what I'm saying. That was just kind of a bonus reason that that's why I said you won't like that part of it. I, I, but, okay. Yeah. But, so here that's comes, what I'm going with. Here it. comes Mike making his own rules. Right. <laughs> I get a separate set of rules. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so, you know, it's funny you say the Hornets, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm a Cavs fan. Right. I went to game seven, uh, not game seven in, in Golden State, but I went to game seven at the uh, uh, at the downtown downtown. Right. That okay. was like, yeah, I, I had access to one of the suites and everything. And then, you know, we were oh, able to watch it. Right. Because they they was like, hey, come on and watch the game. Dude, mm-hmm. it was it was fucking crazy. It was so loud. I think that's the oh, place that... I, I've, I've never been somewhere that has been as loud as this place. Oh, really? <laughs> and this was we were watching it on the big screen you know what i mean it's not like they were mm-hmm. there with us they're like we we're watching it on the screen dude i yeah. hug people high five people i've never seen in my life you know what i mean <laughs> i and love that feeling when you're at a game so i've, I've yeah, yeah been at games where i'm wearing the road team's uniforms you know, and stuff and then any anybody else you run into wearing that gear they're like your Ooh. friends and stuff yeah, yeah exactly yeah, no, hugging mean. people i saw people crying grown men crying it was the right. best thing in the world i even yeah. went to the parade and it was super hot that day it was just ridiculous but it was awesome. Nice. Uh, so, totally good, I, yeah. So I'm obviously a Cavs fan. I was like, I love the '90s, like you know, with Terrell Brandon, like you know, the old school, like the basketball hoop uh, logo that they have and everything. So I grew up a Cavs fan. Same, same. I mean, again, it's the uh, out of all the sports, it's my least favorite. Me too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm not gonna... so here's the thing, though. One of the very first jerseys that I own was a Larry Johnson jersey. While he was on the Hornets. While he was on the horn. Really? Okay. So nice. that's the team that I would pick. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And so, that's, actually, now that you mentioned it, I wasn't even thinking about the time. But I remember when me and my brother were kids, there was these uh, this other pair of brothers that were friends of ours, and they were wearing like Charlotte Hornets stuff a lot. I don't know. I don't remember what the connection they had to it was. But that was like the first NBA team we kind of became somewhat familiar with for that same reason dude it was you know what i'm saying like it was it was him it was like you know when i remember he used to just dominate and just dunk on people and everything and it's like yeah yeah man that's that's the hornets right there i love it yeah. love the logo you know what i'm saying it was it was, it was cool dude you know what i'm saying yeah uh sure. so that's for the nba charlotte hornets I, that's kind of funny though like you and me agree on <laughs> on one team that is yeah that's probably the only I, one i leave agree. doubt that we're gonna agree on any other team after that I seriously doubt it too, but hey, at least we, we got one. True. I, I'm surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm, right. I'm a little taken aback. I'm not going to lie. Right. Is that because we have that little bit of a North Carolina connection? I, I think so. More, yeah, but... yeah. It's a North Carolina connection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, all right. So we got those those two out of the way. I like it. I like it. I think I like, I think that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all right. So any, t- any, any league you want to go next? I'm going to let, I'm going to let you have it. Um. Well, before we, are we, we, we obviously did an NHL and NBA are the four others I prepared for. So mm-hmm. Tell me if there's going to be more. The four others I actually prepared for was NFL, MLB, college football, and college basketball. So, but then you just mentioned something earlier about minor leagues. So I don't know how. You... That, but well, I know minor league. I just threw it in there as a, as okay. a you know, college yeah. basketball. So that's an interesting one for me. Is that for like who your favorite is? You mean, or who the next up would be? No, well, it doesn't matter. Do you want to go with college basketball? Yeah, let's, or do go you with want to go... okay. let's go with college basketball. I'll get that one out of the way. Yeah, let's get out of the way. So college yeah. basketball is, is interesting for me. Yeah. I, and I put college basketball in on the same level as NBA for me. Like, yeah. I I follow it during the tournament season, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, because it's fun to do the brackets and do all that stuff. But, like, it's not like I'm going to sit there and watch a full basketball game, right? right. Uh, my team my uh, is my alma mater, right? Like, it's Kent State. You know what I mean? That's what I was going to guess, yeah. Yeah, it's Kent. Um, but like, if I was to choose an, uh, like a basketball, I don't know, man, that's, that's hard. I really didn't think about this one, to be honest with you. Um, if, if go I, first, uh... yeah, go first. Let me think about this one. Okay, yeah. 
So I know you're a UConn guy for basketball. UConn it's kind of weird. You're not a Georgia guy. It is. This that is of all the teams, you know, I'm fans of all these teams for random reasons, right? UConn basketball is the only one that had technically had anything to do with the on-field performance. But even that, the reason I became a fan was very first time I ever watched college basketball. I already knew you rooted against Duke. That's just what you did. And I should UConn, do Duke just for the fuck of it. Right? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I mean, I guess you got a legitimate reason. You're not that far from there. So no, but, but I'm in but, NC state country though. That's the thing. That's true. That's true. So, but yeah, anyway, the first time I ever watched it, UConn was the team that beat Duke. So I was like, good for them. They're the, they're the team. So that's why I became a friend, fan of them. So yeah, the boring answer would be just simply be Georgia for basketball and UConn for football for me if I reversed it. So I'm not going to give that answer. Even though that's technically that's just, probably... yeah, that's just that's a cop out. And I would yeah. I will so call you out on that. <laughs> that's why I said I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying that would be the boring answer would just be flip flopping there. Flip flopping, yeah, okay. But, yeah. But I think for basketball, it's hard to I've got now narrowed down to two and they're pretty equal. And okay. What are your two? Uh Wright State and Dayton. Both uh Dayton both flies to right. Teams. Right Interesting. State Those are Mac teams, aren't they? No, Dayton's uh, no. not. Wright State Dayton, is. Wright State's Horizon, and Dayton is A10. So similar, yeah, similar levels. Okay. But um, Wright State is well, the team well, that you got Mac, and then you got Horizon. Okay, just let's just be honest about well, that. Well, that is true. But I, A10 is above the Mac. I would say that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah. It's the natural thing is to root for the hometown teams. I don't personally typically do it for the most part. That's because you, I you've mostly never done it on right, any of your right, teams, right? <laughs> but it's not because I just decide, like, wake up and decide I want to be different. It's because oh. I typically are run you into sure? <laughs> I don't think that's why. At least it's because mostly because I end up knowing a lot of fans of these teams that are super annoying and stuff. But it's a handful of local teams, but that's not the case. Okay, Wright State and Dayton are like that. Any of the fans I know of these teams very pleasant and i've gone to you know a handful of their games mm-hmm. i've they've never been like playing against uconn or anything so i've always rooting for them whenever they're playing um and like i said a couple of, one of my best friends actually managed for the right state team when he was in school there and another a couple of my best other best friends are went to ud and are big fans of them so i talked to them about it a lot so i, I don't know if i could pick one b- between one of them but it would definitely be one of those two i would say okay that's an interesting one I gotta put yeah. you on the spot, dude. You gotta pick one. If you were to put one A and All one right. B, you gotta you gotta choose one. All right. If I put on the spot and I absolutely had to do that, I would probably put uh put right state as one A. Shut up. Really? <laughs> probably. Again, it's super close, but I've gone to more of their games and I like uh you know, green's my favorite color. So yeah. I'd probably lean slightly towards them, yeah, 51 49 type of thing. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. So here's the thing with me, obviously I already said Kent State is my school, right? It's last my alma mater is like, you know, and I remember doing my college visit and this was during like one of the NCAA tournaments and Antonio Gates was playing. Oh, wow. Really? You remember him? Remember? Yeah. You know, NFL player, never played down in Kent State of football, but he also, he decided that they were going to give him a contract and obviously turn it into a Hall of Fame career. Yeah. I was going to say, probably going to make it into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He's probably going to make it into the Hall of Fame. Let's be honest. Yeah. So ever since then, I was like, all right, I'll follow Kent State. You know what I mean? Obviously, Mm -hmm. they haven't been that good, you know, but (laughs) yeah. uh, So that's my team. So if I, if I was to, if I was to choose a different, um nca basketball team and this is a tough one right because the, the easy choice would be the buckeyes right because yeah it's also every, an yeah. unfortunate choice but yeah <laughs> you should you should have chosen the, the ohio state buckeyes <laughs> as your team i mean if we're talking basketball i could stomach that They're the basketball i don't i'm not a fan of the basketball team i don't hate the basketball team so. Dude, how are you in ohio and hate ohio state that much uh it's it's rough. It's you rough. know what's funny? People ask us like, "Hey, don't you root for Ohio State football?" I'm like, I never went to Ohio State. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yeah, so, like, I mean, I want them to do good, but it's not like I'm gonna cry about it. It's like you know, if they lose, it's like I don't. I, Ohio right. State is not my fucking team. Exactly, especially when you specifically went somewhere else. Yeah, you know, that's like, what I'm I, saying. I literally right. went somewhere else. Yeah, it's like I just didn't go to college. So, so when you care. specifically went somewhere else, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So 
but if I was to choose basketball and then I would have to choose uh, my, you know, so my, my brother-in-law went to NC state. He graduated from NC state. Okay. He got his, um, I think it's like his golf something major, right? At, at, uh, at, at uh, NC state. So I guess I would have to, you know, I would probably have to choose NC state as the uh, school, okay. you know, yeah, uh, makes or, sense. or, or my niece's, um, she is actually now going to be going into ECU, Eastern Carolina. Okay. She's a pirate. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it was one of those teams, but you know, so that's, that's, you know, if you have to put me on the spot, cause I know that's what your next <laughs> question is going to be. Saying, I gotta be, pick one. You gotta pick one. It'll probably be <laughs> NC state. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense if you, uh, you're, it's literally your hometown team now. And if you have the family connection as well, so. Oh, dude, it's crazy sense. because it's like, you know, where I am here, right? It's like NC State. But if you go a little bit, you know, then mm -hmm. you got uh, NC, right? UNC or or Duke. Dude, it's yeah. crazy. It is wild here, man. That's when it comes to those teams, man. Dude, it gets yeah. wild. I bet because I was going to say, like, even around here where I'm from, there's a lot of colleges, but there's not a lot of, like, Power 5 colleges and stuff. But there, you know, it's like you know, NC State, then what, 20 minutes or an hour maybe to – a duke within another 10 minutes not even. North carolina, it's like then, yeah 45 minutes it's like yeah. right there right and then north carolina right there then a little further wake forest and yeah, not too far the other it. way and it's clemson it's south insane. Carolina. yeah so that they love crazy. their college ball down here dude it's 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 absolutely wild so right. i don't know yeah yeah so yeah that's, that's, a, that's a good one right i mean look at that we spent actually we spent some time talking about ncaa basketball yeah, yeah. and we both don't really watch it that right. <laughs> i would have thought that would have been like about the fastest one <laughs> exactly so all right so let's stick with uh with the ncaa what do you think yeah might as well while we're kind of somewhat on the subject might as well on the subject let's get it done and over with Alrighty. so so we follow college football right and we mm -hmm. mostly do it just because well it's college football yeah uh you know, to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna go first because this is an easy one for me. Again, okay. alma mater, Kent yeah. State. I'm a Golden Flash through and through. You know what I mean? My team sucks, yeah. but I'm still gonna follow <laughs> them, right? Yeah. Uh, and they play at a horrible name at Dick Stadium. That's the name uh, of the stadium. <laughs> Dick Stadium, D I X, <laughs> but they call it Dick Stadium. You know what I mean? So I was like, Jesus, can we get a different name? Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't changed it by now. <laughs> for real, they should. Anyways, yeah. so I'm a Golden Flash. But here's mm -hmm. the one team that I will always follow. I have always followed this, and you're going to probably laugh. Okay. But it's Who's the or Oregon Ducks. Mm. I've always loved what they do when it comes to uniforms. I love the old school logo, like the with the yellow and green. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, with mm -hmm. the with the Daffy Duck looking one, you know, I mean, that's the one I like the most. Yeah, always love that they bring out new colors, new new color schemes, new logos, new helmets, all of that, the whole night. You know what I mean? Look good, mm -hmm. feel good, play good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so the Oregon Ducks would be the one, and now they're going to be in the Big Ten, dude. So oh, even better. That's true. I like that one. That's a good one. Uh, I do. Uh, now that you mentioned that too, I do kind of remember you talk, talking about about them before and saying you liked them. I don't know if I necessarily knew it was like that high on the list, but oh yeah, no, like as far as all the schools, like I'm not gonna, yeah, I mean, like I said again, I mean, I grew up in Ohio, right? I mean, so it's like you follow, you 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 root, but you, but I never really was like I'm a Buckeye, you know what yeah. I mean? Right? Yeah. So, and I will so. never choose Michigan ever. <laughs> now there's not a thread of my body that will ever choose Michigan, right? Yeah, and no, I get that. If that's probably that's a common uh, theme amongst most people in Ohio. Yeah. yeah, not Michigan, not Michigan State, not not Western, you know, Michigan yeah. or Eastern Michigan. None of that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You um, would do the same. Don't act like you wouldn't. Well, <laughs> uh, you said uh, you said we do know everything we know in oh, this, shit. this exercise, Here right? We go. Here we go. <laughs> this is an important question. So, okay. go ahead. You, you say it was one of the easiest ones for you, but this was actually probably the hardest one for me because oh, this is pick Michigan. I'm disconnecting this thing right now <laughs> because the reason this was the hardest for me is because all the other sports, I have the team that's very clearly my team, but almost every other one, I've got a handful of other teams that I, I do also root for and stuff. Fuck. But this one, 100% uh, of the times, are like I've literally not only rooting, watching every Georgia game. But anybody Georgia plays on their schedule all year long, whether they played them already or they have not, 
I'm rooting for them to win every week because I want it to help Georgia's schedule and things like that. So I'm like 100% all that matters is Georgia to me, basically, and stuff in mm-hmm. anti Ohio. Yeah, State. sure. But uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Anyway, so uh, the I, I had originally narr- I had narrowed it down to about five teams. So fucking hell. Because this was tough. But the three that I would not choose but were in that list one was UC. I like a. I like them. They're local, all that stuff. Yeah, I like their uniforms and all that. But all right, wanna... Cincinnati Bearcats, by the way, whoever who was thinking about yeah, it, exactly. you know, both home of the Kelsey brothers. Yeah, that's true. There's probably a lot of just actual UCs. So around yeah. here, they're UC. Yeah. Um, UC. One... Anyways, go ahead. Yeah. Another one is UCF. I always kind of liked them. Ooh, I like the Black Knights. Black. Yeah. Um, and then also now that they have had those, this good run over the last six, eight years or whatever. Um, and the fifth one is actually was Oregon too. I, I like, again, I like green. Yeah. Uh, I like how they mix up some uniforms. Some of them are pretty terrible, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Yeah. And exactly. I mean, I like the color schemes and stuff I like that throwback one as well. So those were a couple I had thought about. Um, Shit. But it, <laughs> eventually I had to narrow it down to, to one, but it came down to one of these two. So the, the, the one I probably wouldn't choose, but as number is close is Michigan <laughs> because I do root for Michigan because I hate you right now. Why are you <laughs> doing this? And if honestly, if push came to shove, they may have ended up even being the number one because I just I already root for them a lot just because I hate Ohio State so much. And... Oh God, I just oh God. <laughs> so your 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 veins are full of vinegar, not blood. It's just vinegar. <laughs> so, but. So they very possibly would be the team I would choose. Okay. For the, right. for, this, for the sake of this, that they're not the one I'm choosing. The one I am choosing is Vanderbilt, which would kind of stink because they're so bad. But, and I remember we're talking Georgia doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, Georgia no doesn't sort of rivalries. Exist. Not that they were much of a rival. I but, am perplexed here right now. I'm not going to really, lie. That's Why Nashville. Vanderbilt? They're yeah, Nashville, but, the I SEC. Mean... Again, the Golden Black. Now, Again, if I just start from scratch and it comes down to Vanderbilt, who's one of the perennial worst teams, and Michigan, who's pretty Ever. good, I may actually – it'd be hard to not <laughs> lean towards Michigan if it's close just for that reason. But for the sake of this uh, this discussion, I'm going to say Vanderbilt. Okay. I mean, yes, I know. You know, I know. It's Nashville. I get that part. I get it. Yeah. But, like, you got, like, national championship pedigree. You're right. And, again, it's – it's hard. This is all hypothetical, obviously. It, it would be hard. If I know all I know, it would be hard to pick a team, even though they're a power five, okay. that's just perennially yeah. terrible. So again, when push comes to shove, maybe I would lean more towards Michigan. Yeah. But I'd like to think I would choose Vanderbilt amongst those two. Okay. All right. I mean, again, all right. Hey, listen, that's your list, man. Again, yeah. your list. Yeah. yeah. That's your list. <laughs> We're going to go with that. Go I get why. That. I think uh, and you dig deeper into it. it shouldn't really be too surprising but i get why on the surface it's kind of surprising yeah yeah right, exactly so okay so so we have we we've done nhl we've done nba ncaa basketball ncaa um ncaa uh football okay mm-hmm. what do we got next either nfl or mlb all right nfl okay we both we both have our teams we've had we've had our fun at mm-hmm. making fun of each other with you know with our respective teams mm-hmm. obviously you are a london jaguars <laughs> and not anymore they're about to build this 1.2 billion dollar stadium so. bro that thing is massive by the way just like <laughs> yeah I, like, I, holy I, shit if it ends up looking anything close to like the way that drawing is, then I absolutely cannot wait to go to some of those games. That'll be kind of crazy down there in Jacksonville. People will be I, going nuts. They need uh, it though. That, that heat down there is, is brutal. Bro, that place is brutal. They should not be playing any games in the day. Right. That, dude, there's yeah. no shade whatsoever. Right. And plus, everybody wants to see them in prime time anyway. No, they don't. <laughs> No, they don't. I mean, when Trevor's healthy, they do. Again, no, they don't. <laughs> See, he's about to get a fifty-plus million dollar annual extension. Do you think so? Yeah, the, that's the reports going out there. Check uh, CBS Sports so that they're they're deep into the conversation. Apparently, okay. Hey, whatever. I mean, you're worth as much as they pay you, baby. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so, 
if 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 Khan wants to pay that man, you know, whatever money, yeah, he'll get it. No, uh, he it. hasn't earned it, but whatever. It's cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So you're a Jaguars fan. I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we we make fun of each other. Obviously, my team, you know, always happen to choke right at the most important primetime games. That's how that goes. Mm-hmm. And it is the factory of sadness, as some people will know, will hear once they hear that, they'll be like, yep, Cleveland Browns. Uh, right. That's literally called it the factory of sadness. Uh, that's funny. So, like all, all right. So we cannot pick these teams. Okay. These teams never existed. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm sure you had, you were tossing and turning. You were having your nightmares about this one. I was. This one was tough. Uh, who would you pick, dude? Okay. So. What it got if you pick the like, Dallas Cowboys? I'm turning this fucking <laughs> thing off. So, again, like with all these sports, I picked it. I narrowed it down to a handful first. I like to just mention who my my runners up were. Um, I love your couple. honorable mention stuff. By the way, it's yeah. just always good. You <laughs> always have know, honorable mentions. <laughs> I try, especially like here where it's otherwise it's just one team. That's too short yeah, right, of an answer. Right. So, a couple of teams I came up with that were just missed. One of them is the Bears because. Uh, when I was uh, when I was super young, my mom liked the Bears a lot, and so Stop I just kind of naturally leaned to, leaned towards rooting for them. So they've always been one of my favorite teams. Well, until the last couple of years when I had to root against them because Justin Fields, but now that's lifted, and uh, I can root for him again. And don't so. don't be hating on Justin Fields. <laughs> that dude is about to turn around. Uh, you know the Pittsburgh Squealers. Okay, calm down. Yeah, he is. You're right because they're always good, and he's about to turn them around. So. They're not always good. I, I mean, yeah, they have yeah, not had a losing straight winning seasons. <laughs> yeah, but they haven't had like, I mean, they didn't they didn't make the playoffs last year. Yeah, they did. Did they? Yeah. I just don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. Early exit. Uh, yeah. Continue on. <laughs> anyway, uh, another team is the Rams. I uh, gross. Which uh, part of it's because I I like their colors and the, when they unveiled those uniforms, I thought they were terrible and when in the actual unveiling and stuff but it's from the moment i actually saw them on the field i'm like all right these are actually pretty cool no nope, so. still hate the logo they should have kept the white and blue when they came out with back oh dude love that white and blue they could have done something with it for sure but the the product they actually had on the field for those couple of years were hideous because of the little bit of the old uniforms mixed yeah oh yeah with. no 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 yeah but i'm talking about the helmet alone the helmet alone was yeah. gorgeous anyways continue on i'm sorry yeah so i like that uh but again part of them that I probably shouldn't count them because part of that is they tend to have a lot of Georgia players and stuff, and uh, they can't help but kind of like them. So okay, okay, I'll throw them away. And the the one other team is kind of a similar one is uh, the Eagles. Again, partially, Eagles. yeah, the Eagles. But they honestly might have been number one on my list if they would go back full time to their Kelly Green uniforms, Ooh. bro. Or at least Kelly Greens are so and gray. But yeah. Oh yeah. Like first of all, even the uniform itself is better anyway, but. As I was saying, green's my favorite color, and specifically Kelly Green is my favorite color. And yeah, when they finally unveiled those throwback uniforms last year, they looked so good on the field. So they sick. Could, yeah, like they could even do it, doesn't have to literally be those uniforms, even if they did something like a similar to their modern design, but switch the green. Right. It would still be great. Um, but so those are the just the the, the runner up choices. Okay. The the number one on, on here was again had to go back to my original question. Of like, do the Jaguars just never existed because rivalries mm-hmm. could come into play? So assuming they never existed, once again, I would go towards Nashville. And I, I, Titans are not my second favorite team, but assuming the Jaguars never existed, I would lean towards the the Nashville brand. And uh, now they could use a little bit of work. I, I don't like their navy blue uniforms. <laughs> well, I mean the little brand. I don't like their navy blue uniforms, but any other combination, I don't like when it's navy blue on navy blue. Yeah. But any other combination they wear, I think the uniforms look pretty good, I think. And again, it's Nashville. Uh, like I said, they're not in this scenario, they're not a rival of Jacksonville, never have been. One, I would like to clarify they're not my second favorite team, I wouldn't <laughs> say at the moment. But if Jacksonville never existed, that's uh, probably who I would go for. It's a little difficult to say because they are a rival of the Jags, but. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have thought. Who would have thought yeah. that you would have picked a Nashville team? Crazy. I know, right? That's just I know. crazy. That's why that question was key on this one. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm a Browns fan. 
Uh, and, and then when it came back, I was super happy because during that time, which funny enough, it's like, you know, they left in 94, like, you know, Cleveland 94, 95 season. Right. So mm-hmm. during that time between them, and, you know, in 99, I, my very first Jersey that I own here in the U S where I moved to the U S was a Drew Bledsoe Jersey. Okay. Okay. Nice. Drew Bledsoe. Remember with the, when they had the, uh, the, the actual flying logo right here on the, on the shoulder pads, you know? Yeah. The flying Elvis on there. Yeah. The flying. So those were like, I had that Jersey, had okay. that Jersey. I loved that Jersey. Which I, I became yeah. a Drew Bledsoe fan. I was broken hearted when they, you know, replaced them. Obviously they went on a, you know, I was totally wrong. Out well for him. <laughs> yeah. I think it worked out well for them. Right. <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, I would not pick any of the teams in the AFC North. It's just sacrilege. But Ever. again, the Browns don't exist in this. Doesn't this matter. Way. I know what I know. Can't stand Baltimore. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't blame you for not choosing those teams just anyway. But if, yeah. I just mean if you miss Steelers. because of, you yeah. people tell us like, well, you know, your wife is a Steelers fan. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't yeah. do it. Okay. So here's a couple of teams that, you know, that I, I, I thought, let's do some honorable mention for Ed Rivera. I like okay. it. One honorable mention is uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? You know, uh, I, I'm a firm believer in second chances, and I gave uh, you know Baker Mayfield a second chance, you know, and he did really good things. He obviously he got a little nice little contract extension there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's making that money. He's now he's a dad and all that. So Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was like his fourth chance, though. So. You know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it was because he was with the Panthers and then with the Rams and then, you know, <laughs> yeah, but eventually he got enough second chances. Exactly. But... He eventually he got hit, you know, his 20th second chance right. and, it, you know, he yeah. made it count. Exactly. Um, uh, the other team that, um, that I would, um, I would put there was again, the, the Patriots, right? Because that's, you know, when the, the Browns were gone, that's who I was rooting for. Uh, knowing what I know now, I can't do it, you know? <laughs> Again, you know, yeah. this was one of the things, one of the, you know, the, sp- the stipulations, right? That we know what we know about each other's teams. Right. right. Yeah. For so sure. So when, when my wife and I started dating, we're talking and everything. And then, you know, we both found out that we're both fans of different teams, Browns and mm-hmm. Steelers, right? I was like, yeah. I would need a, we need a team to root for, you know, together. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? It's just, yeah. you know, it's like, so the options were either the Tampa Buccaneers mm-hmm. or the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, okay. For that right. was this like she had liked those teams too, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We had like we had the the t shirts and everything, the whole nine. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I I'm not gonna pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. However, I will pick the Seattle Seahawks. Is that because of uh, Russell Wilson helping out, or yeah, or the whole thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Pete Carroll, big huge fan of Pete Carroll. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, because being at the age that he's at, like, you know, the energy that that dude brings, you know what I mean, saying? Uh, I thought you were maybe because you were a Patriots fan back in the day, around the time he was the coach no, there. No, I re- <laughs> that, that was a forgotten years. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Because then he went to USC and he did what he yeah. did. At USC. But like, he, his energy, dude, like, the dude got some, obviously, granted, you know, he wanted to stay a coach, but, uh, you know, yeah. uh, management was like, mm, right, not so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're getting up there, and then perhaps maybe you should give the reins to someone else. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, Seattle Seahawks, man. The Seahawks. Uh, okay. That's, you know. Now, do you, since we mentioned something about uh, throwback uniforms for the Eagles, mm. since you're bringing up the Seahawks, do you think the Seahawks should go back to those uniforms? Oh, my too? God. Dude, those silver helmets, bro. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. Oh, aren't they? Yeah, they should. Give it a little couple of updates, but dude, those things are sick. Yeah. I think, I think in all these cases, like, the actual throwback is better than what they have right now, but the ideal situation is a modern version yeah, of just get it, let's, yeah, exactly. Let's yeah. give it a modern version, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and everything. So, like, I that I would I would definitely definitely pick that. Okay. So it'll be Seahawks. Yeah. So uh, NFL would that would be the thing. It's like you know, so it's not that that one actually wasn't that hard. You know what okay. I mean? But yeah. here's the thing that I was having a good conversation with Darla mm-hmm. about this. It's like you know, we 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 have our teams, mm-hmm. right? And uh, my question that I asked was like, all right, so which one is more exciting for you for like, you know, opening day or opening weekend kind of thing? NFL or, NA, or uh, MLB. And she was like, actually, I would pick the NA, NFL because we love fantasy that much. So we watch the Red Zone okay. channel more than we watch the actual full game. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, See, I can, yeah, and get how there's, there's like, there, there are differences in that. Cause like, I know I've, 
my brother asked me one time, he's like, he's like, let's rank our favorite leagues and stuff. And 100% baseball is my favorite sport. But I chose college football as my favorite league because like the game, every single game is so important. Everything, like, every every game matters. Yeah. So and Georgia football is probably my favorite team. So all stuff. So I'm like league. I would say that's my favorite league, but sport baseball is better than football. So I get yeah. how there's like differences in that. So for me, like my baseball, oh, that's my love. That's my true love. Right. You see every single thing that I have here in my office, yeah. the vast majority is baseball. Right. I even have, well, I actually have a, a Jim Brown uh, picture. You can't really see it. So the, okay. but yeah. baseball, 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 baseball. Right. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing though. NFL is a, much better league overall like you know when it yeah. comes to popularity and what they've been able to do right? right like i mean it's like fantasy football has really turned you know darla and i's fandom into more of the red zone channel fantasy football yeah. but again it's hard the nature of the sport the foot each football game is more important exactly matter, of course, it's easier to get a lot more into each individual game you're like i love the tigers i watch them all the time like i was watching the game tonight yeah you I lose a game performer, today and it's okay but yeah, it's like I'm not standing, sitting there watching every single play, or or being super upset when the Diamondbacks scored on them or whatever, and I'm not you know planning my whole day around it like I would a Georgia game or a Jaguars right. game. Same with the NFL, right? Like I mean, dude, mm-hmm. the NFC North, the AFC North was stacked last year. Yeah. You lose one game, and yeah. dude, then every team finished with a winning record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Every team a, in that league finished with a winning record. Baltimore 13-4, Cleveland 11-6, Pittsburgh 10-7, Cincinnati 9-8. And did you see the schedule that was just unveiled for this year? The, the, yeah. the last Cleveland. six or seven games. As I say for the Pittsburgh, the last six or seven games they have. Every every one of their divisional games are like week 11 and on. And then like one or two non-divisional games. I forget who they are exactly, but it's like Chiefs and Bills or something like that on top of all six of their divisional games. Brutal. Yeah. If they're not like eight and one or something heading into that point, they're they're dead meat. Yeah. Same with Cleveland. Cleveland, I think, has like the second or the third hardest schedule. Oh, uh, yeah. Just overall. Overall. Yeah. I think it might have even been the hardest according to something I saw, I think. Yeah. So I was like, Jesus, they hate the Browns. Right. Yeah. And again, uh, that's, again, that's obviously largely influenced by just being in the that division. That's, that's what I'm games saying. Right that's there. Exactly. Right. So it's like, yeah. all right. So what's a better league? You know what I mean? Because like, for example, we all make this, you know, in baseball, we all say it's like, you know, we don't you don't have to win every single game. Mm-hmm. Just win the series. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So mm-hmm. if you get two out of three or three out of four, whatever, it's like if you get that, you know, you're going to lose a game. You know that. But you still win the series. The more series you win, the higher percentage is that you're going to make the playoffs, right? So, like, those are the kind of things that you see in baseball and football. Like, bro, you better be winning. And if you lose, you better hope that other teams are helping you out. Right. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's so, just like, it's, that's just wild. Wild yeah, to me. Right. But it is funny how, because of things like that, why, you know, you can like one sport better, but you know, another a team from another sport or a league from a different sport might be something you enjoy more specifically. Exactly, dude. So, but sorry. So there you go. Uh, we got off on an old tangent here, obviously, oh, but yeah. well, that's it. That's it. Oh, it's fascinating. I, I find this fascinating. This whole, like, you know, what, which league is more popular or which one do you prefer? Like, I mean, and, and, and guys, the, the conversation there that you guys are hearing are from two massive baseball fans. Right. Okay? <laughs> We love baseball. That's the, yeah. you know, I mean, that's what Easily I the favorite sport. Just one hundred percent. Oh yeah. yeah, favorite sport. Yeah, same. And yet, still, we agree about the the significance of the football games and stuff. Oh, yeah, the the significance is much higher. And yeah. we'll see now because it's a seventeen game schedule. But like, no, they want to go to eighteen games. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'm sure they will as soon as they went up to seventeen. Oh, they will. They will. Yeah. It's like they don't want they don't want to settle on an odd number like that. So they're they. But it was going to be too hard to get to the, the NFLPA to agree to add two games in one. NFLPA one fucked up when they agreed to all this stuff, so it's their yeah. fault. Yeah. They'll get rid of some uh, some preseason games. They uh, will, just, but that's better than than not getting rid of them. But it's not an equal I'd rather, trade. I'll be honest; I'd rather have an eighteen game season than yeah. you know having those preseason games because yeah, no one a, cares about these fans preseason point of games. View, yeah, literally, the only thing I don't like about even just from even as a fan's point of view. 
that I don't like about adding to the schedule is like the records and stuff. It's just, it's bad enough when they added the one game. Now all these you know, yardage records and touchdown records are get easier to get broken. And thankfully they haven't, not much, many of them have been broken yet. But as soon as you add that 18th yeah, game, yeah. it's inevitable then. Well, it's inevitable the same thing anyway. with baseball though, right? I mean, you had 162 games now, but it wasn't always 162 games, right? You're right, but... And I know they added more than one game. So I think it went 154 to 162, but that's it what was 140 something at one point. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, but that's so, a conversation for us. We have another another episode, too, because <laughs> I, I have my thoughts on the season being this long. Okay. Yeah. Let's have that another one then because, because yeah, it's yeah. a good subject for it. This is a dull, totally different conversation to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So now we let's come down. All right. I'll leave minor league baseball mm-hmm. out of this because. We we kind of follow every single team to be honest with you. Yeah, like I don't like I would probably say Nashville is my favorite team there, but then the, I love Florence y'all. I love Dayton Dragon and stuff. So I don't even have a right, definitive exactly. favorite team there. Yeah, like I mean, if I if I was you were to ask me, I was like, yeah, I would say the Durham Bulls, but but the, the Durham Bulls because I, you know, that was the first team that I fell in love with when yeah. I saw Bull Durham. You know right. what I mean? Or Major League Baseball. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. that's the team that I I fell in love with. But like I follow every single one. Exactly. We've got hats of, you know, more than half the teams and stuff, probably. Oh, I counted my hats, dude. Did you? I did. You I have. remember we are having a conversation on your podcast about, like, you mm-hmm. know, the Copa. I have yeah. 63 Copa hats. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. 63. Was it, was it? I'm assuming it's not 63 different teams. There's probably some teams you have multiple of. So a couple of teams that I have multiple of. One of them, a couple of teams that I, the, the they're no longer have those. Uh, brands okay. right mm-hmm. uh so remember the ras boss you know we never we talked about that one they're no longer yeah. around um uh, mm-hmm. during bulls came up with their services that one's not around right, right? Yeah. so like i mean there's a couple of them that i have that yeah. are like you know yeah so. probably over 50 teams still i would imagine then. yep oh yeah yep yep nice. yep 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 I like yep. it. <laughs> exactly and it's funny you know the one that we were talking about that I couldn't find the west michigan whitecaps yeah i have their hat I do really. I was so, like, "Well, I was like, no shit. Here it is." <laughs> like you didn't remember having it, even like once you I saw know. it. That's that's the problem that's too, when you have. I have well over five hundred hats. <laughs> Dang, yeah, it'd be hard to remember every one of those and stuff. Like, I mean, I guess even for me, like with the fitteds, if I had to guess, it's probably around seventy-five or something. That's what, but dude, the, your fitteds are fucking ridiculous and expensive. Though. They are. That's why. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be much higher than that. But yeah, same thing as some of them get buried and stuff that I kind of forget about until I see it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I haven't worn that one in a while. So there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's let, let's let's round this up, baby. Okay. Major League Baseball. I'm sure this was your hardest one for you. Yeah, yes and no. Or, or was it was it uh, college football? College football was the hardest one for me okay. because right. that one is like I just couldn't even hardly imagine rooting for anyone but Georgia and stuff. Whereas even though baseball, like I said, my favorite sport, like we discussed, but there are a lot of teams I root for still. Like Tigers, obviously, far and away, my favorite team. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of ones I root for. And uh, part of the reason for that is amongst all my favorite teams, the Tigers are the one that I was actually the oldest when I actually picked them. Because similar to like when I said I became a UConn fan because I knew you rooted against Duke. Yeah. When I was a kid in baseball, I just knew you rooted against the Yankees. So when I was a kid in the nineties, the Braves were kind of my favorite team because they were always playing the Yankees. Yep. And then 2001 came and the Diamondbacks beat the Yankees. So I kind of started leaning towards the Diamondbacks. Interesting. Okay. Then two years later, the Marlins beat the Yankees and I loved Miguel Cabrera and Dontrell Willis. So I kind of became a Marlins fan for a couple of years. I can't root then, for them. They beat, they beat my, uh, my Indians uh, in, in uh, 97 In 97. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got about that one. <laughs> But that one yeah, hurts. So oh, I bet because those game seven, seven games too, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Same with the Cubs. Yeah, Ooh, that one hurt a lot of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, so I kind of became a Marlins fan for Thanks, a couple asshole. years. Appreciate that. <laughs> no, all right, you, brought right, right. you brought it up. <laughs> I did. I did. It was all my fault. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, okay, so, a, so you got you so, got a couple of teams that you can choose from that end. Yeah. So, but. So I like all those teams, even still. I also like the Rays a lot. I just love the way they do business. And I like yeah, dude. Uh, how they always get. I love their color scheme and all this stuff. 
Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of teams I like there. It would be hard to choose just one of those. But the one hometown team around here that I actually very much root for is the Cincinnati Reds. So it was actually fairly easy to pick the Reds as my second choice here. Okay. That's why it was kind of easy, just because I like them a lot too. Now, if I had to dig down to the third, I don't. It would be one of those teams I just mentioned. I don't know. That would be start getting really hard to be which one of these because I like them all for different reasons. Well, I guess kind of for the same reason, but um, but yeah, as far as just picking the actual winner of the next group, it's uh, the Reds are like said the one one local team of the okay. major sports okay. that I actually you know very much root okay. for and stuff. So okay, all right, I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, I like it. Don't respect it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds yeah, me of uh what's his name uh lando calrissian and star wars solo yeah i don't like it i don't agree with it but i res- respect it or but I respect the opposite it. yeah <laughs> yeah uh so okay so I, one of my rules that i set for myself like i mean i didn't tell you to do this but like one of the stuff i set for myself is that i would not pick any american central team yeah, okay. Right. Not even the oh, Tigers. No, yeah. <laughs> no. So not the Sox, not the Guardians, not the Tigers, not the Royals, not the Twins. Right. Although I do have a soft spot for the Twins. Why is that? Curry Pocket. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't remember. But when, uh, do you, M, when the M always, I've always loved that M on it, the logo on the hat. Uh, when the, I, yeah. There's, I do like them. I, I won't say I like them. Ever since a well, year or two ago, when they unveiled their new logos and uniforms and stuff, I kind of I got a little bit of respect for them because those uniforms are so so clean. So, those are, I actually do really. They did really a good job. Yeah. Um, Again, another conversation for another podcast yeah. that we're gonna have is yeah. is ranking. You know, like the city connections. Uh, yeah. You and me are like, you know, like on opposite ends of yeah. this Night and day. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> this we is are. where you and me are gonna have a fight about this because it's so good. Yeah. We might need a what do they call it when there's like a third person like there's we're gonna need a mediator yeah a mediator yeah <laughs> we're gonna need uh so I, I would never root for the yankees that's just not gonna happen i'm not gonna root yeah. for the 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 dodgers it's not gonna happen or the braves not gonna happen braves you know too? What I mean? is that because they also beat the <laughs> the indians <laughs> yeah exactly uh right. the, the uh the braves were not gonna do that you know what i mean yeah. uh so i'm gonna do some honorable mentions here Okay, right. I'm mm-hmm. gonna start with the uh, Seattle Mariners. Okay, there's a whole yeah, uh, there's a Seattle trend going here. Yeah, exactly. I've always wanted to live there, but anyways, uh, the reason why I'm not picking them, you know, the '90s man, a '90s yeah. Seattle. Yeah. Oh, but I did love Ken Griffey, man. I mean, who doesn't love? Ken How could Griffey? you not? Yeah. <laughs> right, hat backwards, the whole nine thing. Yeah. You know, it's just, I mean, it's Ken Griffey. Yeah. And I love I was, the fact I respect the man for saying it's like if I was ever would have been traded or picked by the you know by the Yankees he would have retired. Yeah, I'm like that is some I balls on this dude. Right. I was like I'll stay yeah. out for a year. I'll retire and then come back. Right. Yeah, it was great. And I I was a kid when it happened, but I still remember how big of a deal it was when the Reds traded for him around here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, that's the one team I was like, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. So so like that one. Uh, same with like you to Tampa Bay Rays. They've always done, you know, their thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, huge fan when they came out, when they were the actual devil rays and not just a rays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, mm-hmm. all right, Ralph. Right. I like that shit. That's nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, so have that, uh, as far as other ones, that was it. Uh, the, the this one was kind of easy as well for me. Okay. Not the hardest because the reason for it is because I'm a massive Clemente fan. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I also, again, kind of like junior. Yeah. You know, how could you not be? Especially you. But I mean, exactly, even just right. Uh, yeah. Just anyway. Yeah. But exactly. Puerto Rico's son died. You know, helping other yeah. people and all that stuff. So the story is great. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, if anybody, you guys should listen to uh, uh, read his book, dude. So good. Uh, yeah. The way, like the what he dealt with, you know, he, insomnia and everything. Like it was, it's uh, like yeah. he dealt with a lot, and the dude just still always delivered. I mean, he had a cannon for an arm. Yeah, I'm glad he, he was able to get that three thousand pit before it all happens too. Chief dude, last game of the season, three thousand yeah. dies after that. I mean, yeah, it's wild. Tough. I mean, it's just, and yeah. they never found his body. 
Yes, I remember mm-hmm. hearing about that. That's so sad. So, I mean, it's crazy. So, for me, it would be the Pittsburgh Pirates. That's who I would pick. For sure, 100%. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and also fairly local to where you were growing up, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. It, it, well, and it's funny because, like, the colors are black and gold, but I can't stand the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah, you, you when I said something about the Penguins, you were, you, you, know, you were, you were like, almost nah. seemed like you're going to sound like a Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> nah. There, yeah. <laughs> But, but, but I like yeah. I like the the Pittsburgh Penguins baby blues though. Yeah, okay, yeah, but yeah, those ones are it is cool. I just it's hard for me knowing their logos and brand stuff now. It does it just doesn't seem like them to me. Not yeah, nothing it against seem the like uniform the city, right, itself. Change, yeah, exactly. Right. So yeah, yeah. So but yeah, it would be the Pittsburgh Pirates for me though, man. I, I just can't you know can't. Yeah. I'll Is never you, hate on the Pirates ever. Yeah. And they're not like rivals of the Guardians. Not that no that, National that League, American matter. League, exactly. Yeah, um, as uh, Clemente was, he's probably the best uh, baseball player from Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, and he wasn't the first one uh, major leaguer though. Who was? Adam Adam B. Thorn. Oh, okay, that's who they named the stadium after, right? Yep, his yeah. story is also wild. Is it? I don't know anything oh, yeah, about dude, him. Maybe. He got he he died in Mexico. Okay, he got killed yeah. in Mexico. Shot in really? Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah, look it up, dude. It's like, crazy. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, again, wow. Like, he was the first major leaguer, but Clemente is the, you know, obviously the name that you hear, right? right? Yeah. And and for for people to like when they when they found out he died and all that to like they they waive the ten year period. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. To make it into the hall. Yeah, you know that's saying? when you know you had an impact when they do things like that. Exactly. So, I, I mean, that's you got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, uh, Pirates. Steelers can suck it. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but, yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. That is a, that's a good conversation on this one, dude. It was, yeah. Yeah, I like it. And, uh, some, uh, a handful of them in both ways, I'm sure, were pretty predictable. But then there's a, a handful of curveballs in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm a yeah, little surprised though with with your basketball cho- cho- uh, chosen uh, teams and football. To be honest with you, you seem more surprised with the football one. Than like the... really, like you pick Vandy. I mean, again, <laughs> we got, like we just the the, Vend- the Commodores. Yeah, the Commodores. Gross. But, but uh, again, it's Nashville. I like the Golden Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, I, I'm trying to. This is somewhat what I kind of hope I would choose. But again, in reality, knowing what I know, like you, I pick either a team that's perennially terrible yeah. or a team that's perennially good. If it's kind of somewhat of debate between that, it would be hard not to choose the the good one. Of course, I may may go with Michigan there. <laughs> But yeah, no. I, I can't do Michigan though. I can't do Michigan. I mean, if you, have you know, I here's the thing though. Like, I, I, I it's one of those conversations that we were, were saying. I was like, you know, this is who I hope I would pick. Like you're yeah. saying, mm-hmm. but who would be like the actual teams that we would actually pick? Exactly, because then we're also saying this with obviously, you know, we thought about it a little bit and stuff too. But, um, but if we were literally in these scenarios where our team just never existed, who knows? What, what we would have picked exactly who would have the teams that we would have chosen as that right would or, i have a couple be honest like what if i became a, a steelers fan because that's the closest local team here exactly or there could be things like that or you know like maybe if just one of these sports the first game we ever went to maybe it'd be the the home team there or the maybe the team they were playing for whatever because their uniforms were better or something right. like that too exactly the very first major league baseball game that i went to was a cleveland indians was it yeah. Okay. When I moved yeah. here. All right. Yeah. So yeah, there's and there's all this hypothetical what we're saying, but obviously who knows what in reality would, would actually have been the case because there are factors like that that could have came into play, of course. Um and some of these things, you know, we we say based off what we know now, but we also say like not to take players, you know, for like Georgia players yeah. and but it's hard not to because I I do yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like one team a little bit naturally because of that or whatever and stuff like that. But well, I mean, yeah. here's the thing though, like my, and another one that I would for basketball, my very first basketball game was not the Cavaliers. 
Oh, really? Who was it? Phoenix Suns. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Out in Who... Phoenix. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. like again, we we didn't grow up basketball fans. We grew up baseball yeah. fans, you know? Uh, and then we fell in love with football. And obviously, you know, that's the rest is history. But, like, basketball has always been, like, my third or fourth sport that I follow. Yeah. yeah. I always say, again, like, I don't I don't even watch 99% of NBA games. That whereas at least college basketball. I get into it in March, and I, I always say, you know, the season technically starts like beginning of November, I always say it doesn't start until college football is over. It's like, yeah. I'll check some box scores or whatever during that time, but I'm not watching college basketball games it's until the day football. after. Yeah, yeah. The day after the college, college football playoff championship game is when the basketball season starts. And then I'll start. Oh yeah. You got a, you got you had the regular season, right? Because every game matters like we were talking about. Then mm-hmm. you got college ball season, you know, like yeah, all season is actually a season all of in itself. It is right? like when I was a little younger, I was, kind of on board of that side where people are like, oh, there's too many bowl games. Some of these are kind of pointless. But the last handful of years, I'm like, bring on more bowl games. These are fun, even when it's... Shit. And you know versus... they're going to, especially now with the expansion of college, play- the college football playoff. Yeah, for sure. You're going to have to, you're going to do something. And yeah, I, that's why I've talked to some of my friends too. Like, I, I think expanding to 12 teams was probably too much. But when those games start, I'm going to be super into super it. happy. The fact that they actually did 12 and stuff. Yeah. And all these extra games are just going to be so fun. What would you tell us? Like you would have gone with eight. I would have gone with eight. Yeah. I yeah, think. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm not saying 12 should maybe 12 is the right number, but I, I think eight is because there's, there's a handful of years like this year where there's more than four teams that deserve to be in the discussion. But honestly, even that's rare. Typically it's two and or that's three. That's pushing it. Although yeah. I'll tell you this, though, I'll tell you mm-hmm. this: the FC, F, FCS, though, right? They've, they've always yeah. had their the college playoff system, and man, it works for them, dude. You're right, you're right, and I I do like the idea of one that bracket style, or yeah, all that but like one group of five team getting guaranteed a chance because now theoretically every team legitimately controls their own fate now. Because I mean, the only way that could possibly not happen now is if like two group of five teams end up undefeated. But yeah. even then, with twelve spots, they have a, a, a they get shot yeah. to get in anyway. Yeah, we're going to pick least. a Mac school champion to make the top. No, you're not. I mean, it's, yeah. I know that. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But so unless two group of five teams go undefeated, then every team is given a shot at least to win. Ranking is going to be super crazy this year. It is. I'm going to be interested to see how, like. At last year, you know how they had so many of these at the end of the year. It's like, well, this is what next year's bracket would be like if it ended now and stuff like that. And a lot of those matchups, though, it was uh, interconference matchups, you know, it's an SEC versus SEC. And I'm wondering how many, obviously, they're not going to massively change the rankings, but if it's, if there's like an Ole Miss that's like number nine or something and, and Missouri's number eight, if are they going to mm. like Ole Miss down to number 10 if it's reasonable to do so well, just to fuck, avoid? They- they they fucked Florida State over, so I'm just not gonna. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna put anything past them at this point. Yeah, and honestly, as long as it's reasonable, if it's if it's unreasonable, don't do it. If it's reasonable to do it, I would rather them do that honestly to avoid interconference matchups in the first round. So if obviously you can't avoid it for so, you can only avoid it so long, especially with all some of these conferences getting larger and more teams in the same conference. But I there, would be yeah, it's super leagues. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I do like that they have a. Uh, top four spots go to the conference champions though for one to get four different conferences in the in there but also but here's the thing though okay you're going to give that to the conference championship but you're getting rid of conferences nowadays so you got the big 10 the sec the acc you know i mean well kind of the acc here you know what i mean (laughs) yeah but the 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 big 12 right i mean so you got these conferences some of these conferences are no longer going to be big 10 growing acc i mean um uh, sec growing right they're adding teams so it'll be wild to see what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm will, fascinated yeah. by how this college football season is going to be. I agree. And I think it's a it's a good time for these super conferences to start if they were ever going to. Because now a lot of these teams, like Michigan, have these like brutal schedules this year. But it's a good timing for it because now with the 12 expanded playoffs, you can afford a second loss. You know, it'd be, hot, hot take be, for me here. That's why Jim Harbaugh said, man, I'm out. So do you think he would have been out even if they didn't win the championship then? Yeah, he would have been. I was like, I'm not going to deal with this shit. 
yeah, I'm sure that that helped and all that stuff. I do think it would be as close as he was getting each year. If he fell a little short again, I do think it'd be hard to walk away. But it also it worked out so well for him. A, he gets to that championship. He ends with three straight wins against Ohio, Ohio State, State, three straight Big Ten championship. So, I mean, yeah. He, oh, the he, dude went out. Like, he knew he had them by the balls. Yeah. Like, he's like, I want to, you, you want me to come back to Michigan? You about to pay me. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's hard to think now how right before this run started, they were about to fire him, supposedly. I think he had to, like, restructure his contract, take a pay cut or something. And... Took a pay cut, bro. Like, I mean, this dude was like, all right, I'm going to take a pay cut. Yeah, like, watch me. And now, and he just left. He's like, I'm out. I'll see you guys. Right. Yeah, exactly. Bye. Yeah. And I so. think they not, maybe he was the best man for the job anyway, but I think they hired a uh, Sharon Moore mostly to avoid what happened to Alabama, where it's like bringing in someone new and 30 different people transfer out and stuff yeah, like, like that. I'm they, out. Yeah. <laughs> like if we keep, keep more here. Anyone but that's already here is probably going to stay. With Alabama, these players leaving, I'm like, y'all are a bunch of idiots. Look what he did with. Uh, with a with team. Washington, yeah, right. Like right. I'm like, maybe you should have stayed. I agree. Yeah, I yeah, because I mean, people are still calling him one of the best coaches out there, and based off of the data, I mean, it's hard to argue right now. You can't argue with the dude. Like I mean, dude, yeah. you took Washington to the national championship with Penix Jr. Come right. on, yeah, exactly. The dude was play- before he went to Washington. He was playing at Indiana. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's like. Uh, not only that, but uh, his, if you look back at his like coaching career in general, I forget where the stops were. But he's been at like one or two other places that were like lower, like Group of Five and like Division two, FCS or something. But everywhere he was gone, he's you know eleven See, and two he goes, type he's of thing wins. every year. Yeah. So uh, uh, so the yeah. people that transfer, they transfer because they just wanted to get out. It's just you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Some so, of them were probably just going to transfer anyway, and yeah. Damn, dude, this thing, uh, this has been a good one, man. Like, I mean, we, we're all. <laughs> We're over an hour already. We're having a conversation about this. So, you know, so uh, anyways, I want to hear from you guys uh, who are listening, you know, tag us and and let me know what you guys think of like the teams that you would choose. If you're, if your current team that you follow on any league, you're going to have to pick them all. Just pick one or two. Let us know what you guys think about who would you choose as far as like, you know, the the teams that you would follow. Cause this is a very intriguing, very fascinating conversation to have just because it's just fantasy, right? Like, I mean, it's different yeah. than the normal stuff, right? So let yeah. us know. Uh, Mike, man, thanks for thanks for joining me, man. This, is, this has been fun, dude. Yeah, anytime. Thanks for having me. That was a good uh, good conversation. Yeah, I mean, your your list is wrong, but it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and that's the beauty of these kind of lists. Is we're not necessarily saying who's best or what's best. This is just who who would we root for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Not rooting for Michigan. Uh, <laughs> ever. If, if you have any sort of respect for Ohio State, then I can understand that, but I have no respect for Ohio State. Yeah, so. I know. You never do. As someone who was born in Ohio, I wasn't even right. born in Ohio. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I moved there when yeah. I was 12, dog, and you're like, no, well, say hey to Ohio State. Yeah. You you must have known a, a nicer group of Ohio State f- fan friends than I did. Not really, no. I mean, it's, <laughs> Ohio is a, it's a football uh, state, you yeah. know, and and football, even with my own fans in Cleveland, I was like they get obnoxious as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. gonna lie, I'll be I'm like sure. I won't go to a football game, a NFL game, Cleveland Browns game. I won't. I I, really. I I said a long time ago that I'm never gonna do that again. Because really? the fans are that bad. Yeah, I have, fans are yeah. asshole. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna take bad. my kid, my daughter to a NFL game. There's no way in hell. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. From especially, I can see that not wanting to take your kid stuff so, because yeah. Even though teams that aren't necessarily bad fans, it's still not a great spot for, no, for young kids. Dude, no, no, it, it's cold. It's miserable during yeah. December, January in, in Ohio, right? Mm-hmm. Then you got these people who just, they start early in the morning at the Muni lot drinking. They make it to the sta- yeah. to the stadium and then they're still drinking. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thanks for no thanks. I'll pass. Right. Yeah, nah, I get that for sure. You know, so. I'm good. I'll watch it from home. It's better anyways to watch a football game, at, you know, on TV anyways. Right. It is. And then the drinks are cheaper too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's what I think we were talking about. It's like, right. It's like, uh, the, which sport is better? Yes. Football is a much better, like overall, you know what I mean? To mm-hmm. watch everything. But I'd rather go to a baseball game and I have no problems oh, going yeah. to a baseball game. hundred percent. Yeah. Like I'll, yeah, you're just so relaxing and 
you can be there by yourself and enjoying it. Or if you are there with someone, then you can kind of have watch the game and casually talk to the person too. It's kind of a win-win. Right. Another intriguing conversation to have later on, right? You know, the the uh, the evolution of the sports uh, mm-hmm. as as a whole together when it comes to football, uh, NBA, or a Major League Baseball, like spectating sports or you know what i mean so that's a we'll talk about that at another episode but anyway again guys thank you for listening this was a lot of fun make sure you guys are following this knucklehead uh his name is mike sellers you know up to chat podcast uh follow my podcast um and also on uh uh every tuesday night 9 p.m eastern time the dhc sports show so we will see you guys later thanks for listening Bye. Hello. <laughs>